Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, it's very Christmassy in this household, and if you'd watched the last video, you'd see just how Christmassy it was. But anyway, today, we are going to be doing the husband tag. Lance had no idea what this I was. I don't know what this is, he just pulled me right out of work. I got dressed up, I put on some red. Yeah. It's Christmassy. Fine. I'm trying to get in the spirit, because I was all black. I was like I was going to a funeral just a few minutes ago, which is my normal state of mind. So we have a list of questions. There's quite a lot of questions, so we'll see how many we get through, but we're gonna go through them, and hopefully you'll know a little bit more about us by the end of it. Should we start? No. Done. There it is. That's the quickest wow, video that ever. So yeah, nice. finish. Yeah, Thank done. you for Bye. watching. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Okay, so how and where did we meet? How do you spell meet? <laughs> we met in LA at a mutual friend's dinner, and we got talking, lots of random small talk about how what goes on inside of an Olympic village would actually make a really interesting movie. It sounded very sexy. Anyway, we then went out afterwards and we exchanged numbers. Um, we well, didn't exchange numbers. Okay, no, you sent your assistant over to you, get my number. You and I took my your, phone and you no, put... No, you sent your assistant over with your phone. You eventually came over okay. and put the number in my phone. Mm -hmm. With and a then what did face. you? Yeah, what did you put at the end of it? What did that mean, Tom? What I don't was, know. What did you mean by that winky face? Like, call me. Yeah. Mm. It's that thing that no straight man has ever put in another man's phone before in history. So what was your first impression of me? That he was incredibly late. That dinner, we had a certain time we were supposed to start dinner, that you weren't, that you weren't there, you still weren't there, you still weren't there, starters arrived, you still weren't there, drinks arrived, you still weren't there. Uh, eventually you rolled in, buttoned up to like this, which I'd never seen before. You're just like, and you were very, you were too cool for school. You're just like, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. No apologies for making me wait. My first impression of him was his shoulders, because they used some wide shoulders. How and where was our first date? Our first date actually in the UK was at the Oxo Tower, which is funny because we don't actually live that far from there now. And after a couple of lychee martinis, Mm -hmm. He asked me to just be his boyfriend. And then the next night, he, uh, he told me he loves me. After a couple more lychee martinis. So, the moral of the story is, don't drink lychee martinis or do drink lychee martinis? Drink lychee martinis. Drink a lot, drink plenty of lychee martinis. <laughs> Robbie agrees. Not him. He wants them, he can't <laughs> have them. Next one is, where was our first kiss and how? It was actually in the W Hotel. Can I describe this? Should Stop. I describe this? No. So at the W Hotel, no. it was like a day or so after we met. And I show up, we're hanging out, and actually it was incredibly innocent. And yeah. actually really sweet. Like for hours and hours and hours, we just talked about our families, what we'd been through, good and bad, the pressures of being on a big stage and doing well, the pressures to keep doing well, the, the grief of losing loved ones, and we were just like connecting, connecting, connecting. And then all of, you go use the restroom and you come back out and your shirt's off. And then you're like, here, stand up. Let me show you how you do a dive. Because you asked me, how did you dive in when you were a swimmer? And I showed you that and you're like, no, 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 it's different. And so all of a sudden you're standing this far from me, lifting my hands above my head to show me the way. How do you do it? How do you do it? Like that? Like that. Like, like that. that. So he's doing this and, the, and then it's a little bit of... Yeah, okay. You get the rest. You get the rest. Yeah. When did you meet my family? Uh, well, when did we, like, I met your family at Christmas 2013. Yes. And you met my family May 2013, because you came over to the UK. Yeah, I met them pretty quickly. We were doing, uh, I would, uh, my job was to be on the barbecue yeah. in the backyard. And they would come over and I would barbecue burgers and stuff for your family. Mm. You met my family at Christmas. I did. And they were lovely. Which meant a lot to my mom. And they're coming over for Christmas now. Like, or they'll be here imminently. We didn't have a lot of time with my mom. You didn't no. have a lot of time with my mom. But the fact that you flew over to spend a Christmas with our family and do our Christmas traditions early on meant so much to her. And it meant so much to her. And I could tell that she liked you in a different way than she had ever liked anyone I'd ever brought around before, partly because I caught her with her iPad out, Google image searching pictures of you and Speedos. And I thought, like mother, like son. And I knew she approved right then and there. You made Christmas cookies and you look good in a Speedo. Swimming chunks. Because I'm not supposed to say that word, I'm supposed to say, in your swimming trunks. Yes. How did you know that I was the one? I knew you, the, you were the one when you had just as crazy ambitions as I did. And not just crazy ambitions, but you made things happen. When you think about something and you want to make it happen, you make it happen. 
and I like that. So we go on lots of adventures together, and I think that was something that was very attractive. I knew it on and around our very first date. There was a, we just, you and I talk so much. We were just talking about all these things that our fears, our concerns, our hopes, our dreams. And then at one point, it got so late from all the talking that you fell asleep on my chest. And I just remember, I remember I'll get tearful thinking about it. I remember thinking in that moment, you're fast asleep on me. And I go, oh God, I'm in so much trouble. Like this, I'm in so much trouble. Because I, I understand the butterflies of love, but I also understand the responsibility. I was gonna uh, be responsible for holding someone quite special in my life for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just gave you a head. Mm -hmm. A head. Stop. <laughs> Not time for jokes right there. Sorry. How long have we been together? Well, we've been together nearly, it'll be wow. six years in March. Yeah. Five but years. married like a year and a half now. What key elements make a successful relationship in marriage? I have to say, never going to bed angry or upset with the other person is a good start. And one day we'll master that. One day we'll get that down. <laughs> dad, 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 dad loves dad, dad best. You win everything. Well, who's going to say dad, dad before papa? Well, sometimes winning is about making the right cho choice early on. Dad, 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 not papa, dad, dad. I think, I think a successful relationship is about, there's all of my hopes and dreams in this circle, and there's all of Tom's hopes and dreams in this circle, right? And it's not like we just become one circle that we, we share all our hopes and dreams no. and ambitions and the things we love. It's that like, you move them together just enough so there's like an overlap. And this space where they overlap is the relationship. But I get to stay curious about all the stuff that's still over here, and you get to stay curious about all the stuff that's still over here. And it just keeps it alive and always changing. And I never know what you're gonna do on any given day. And you'll come to me with an idea and I'm like, well, I guess now we have to achieve that. That's a new thing we have to do. What's your favorite color? Mine's like a teal, a marine blue, let's just say. Oh God. And I did, I thought he was straight when I first met him. I really did. Oh. Teal, aqua, marine. Okay, what's your favorite color? Dustin Lynn's black. What's my favorite food? I mean, uh, there's, a, there's a bunch, but I mean, banana bread's right up there on top. Mm. If you have Nutella, mm. it's like favorite to an extreme, mm. like favorite mm. squared. Yeah. Mm. Yours is brownie batter. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's true, not baked. Yeah, his too, yeah. Yeah, not baked. Yeah, not baked, just when you have a really bad day, make some brownie batter, get in front of like a good romantic comedy, something or something really sad and just dip the spoon in, put it right in your mouth, put it right in your mouth. You'll be nauseous, but sort of like that happy kind of nausea. What's my favorite sports team? Your favorite sports team is water sports. Oh. What's wrong with that? Water sports, he loves water sports. Your favorite sports team is UCLA Bruins football team or Dallas Cowboys. I would have to agree, yeah. Go cat. Sometimes they make it tough to root for them, but uh, your, your favorite sports team, you don't really, it, your favorite sports team is Team GB. Yeah. It's Team GB. My favorite TV show. Are we, is this becoming like, like the newlyweds game? I don't know. I'm just your, going your, through these tags. I don't your know. Favorite, your favorite TV show. Uh, well, I mean, it, uh, The Great British Bake Off. Mm. That's mine. No, I know that's yours. Oh my, I didn't know how. How I spent the first decades of my life without that show, I don't know. You've only watched the last season. You haven't watched any other season. It's spectacular. It's a reason for living. What other show do you really like? Game of Thrones. I lo really love that show, but what? there's another show that I'm always watching. Dinner Date is what No! You yeah, you watch Dinner Date. I like, do watch that. I do you watch, watch every, that. I do watch every that. Every night we're at dinner no, watching Dinner there's, Date. There's another TV show that I watch. RuPaul! Oh. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Oh. That's not a TV show, that's a way of life. Fine. True. What food do I not like? Uh, sardines. True. I'm not a big fan of sardines. No. Neither are you. No. It's like kind of the only food I don't like. It's the same. I'll eat it, but I don't like it. I won't even eat it. I'll put it right on the side. Caesar salad comes and pick that little fish up, put it over there. If I could eat one thing every day, what would it be? Me. <laughs> the answer is chocolate. But unlike everyone else in the world, like me, where you eat chocolate, and you, you know, there's more of you to love. 
With him, he eats chocolate and it literally turns into the bricks that build his abs. When, if someone says life is fair, say absolutely not. Proof of that is that he eats chocolate and gets an eight pack. What is my eye color? Purple. Good. Yours is orange. Thank you. Who is my best friend? Me. Apart from you, you're my Aww, husband. Aw, Sophie. I okay. mean, Sophie's your best friend. Who's my best friend? Ryan. Yeah. They were our um, maids of honor at our wedding. And now our... Godparents. Godparents. The Robbies. Yeah. I don't know if I want to ask this question. What is something I do that you wish I wouldn't? <clears throat> wow, there's a long list. <laughs> Snoring? I, don't, I barely snore, you're just a light sleeper. You barely snore. I barely snore. Look at how cute, this cute little nose. Like, you would expect my nose to make some noise. That little noise, that little nose makes a hell of a noise. Wow. I'm just gonna be like, say it plain and simple. One thing I wish that you would do that you don't is that when you finish with your coffee cup, I wish that you would just put the coffee cup in the dishwasher rather than just putting it in the sink and letting the dishes pile up. I wish. Yeah, I... isn't that right, Robbie? Yeah, exactly. They're ganging up on me. I wish I, I, I honestly wish I would do that too, but I don't, and I'm not going to. Because once I, like, as soon as the caffeine hits my blood, it's like you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta get the writing done. You know what I mean? Like, I got a certain amount of time at that caffeinated level, like, raw. So you just want to kind of like put what? it aside. Raw. What? Raw. One more time? <laughs> no, not doing it. What is one unique talent I have? I mean, beyond like being able to flip four and a half times and go in like to the water as it, without a drop uh, flying up in the air, that's pretty talented. That's, that's a big talent. Um, you can also do that click with your tongue so loud that if you do it in the tube or in a tunnel or in an enclosed space, literally everyone's ears in that space explode. Yeah, like that. Yeah. And Robbie finds it hilarious. And, and he's, by the way, he's done it so many times. He does it so often that our son thinks I'm Dada and says that now. But when our son sees him, what does he do? He clicks at him. They're dolphins. I now live in a family of dolphins. What do we argue most about? I'm just gonna do this by example. He comes home from practice, and of course, you know, he's been working out really hard. He's very hungry, so what does he say to me? Lance. What would you like, Lance, what do you, what do you want for dinner? What are we having for dinner? What are we having for dinner? And I have no idea. Like, I'm not hungry. I, I'm not craving anything. I don't want anything. And he always says sushi. And so I say, yeah, exactly. So I say, well, let's order in sushi because that makes me really happy. And then what does he say? He always has sushi. Now you say, oh, it makes me feel bloated. Yeah, you say this that. This is so salty yeah. and ricey. I know. So why do you continue to ask okay, me? I won't if ask you're you hungry, I won't ask you oh, we've gotten to this before. He says he's not going to ask me anymore. And then the very first thing he does is, what do you want for dinner? What do you want to eat? And I'm like, why? You are hungry. You decide what we okay, eat. Fine, I'm fine, fine with that. I will. I'm okay, fine. With fine. Now we're fighting. Thanks, guys. What can I spend hours doing? Oh my god, you can't say that. All right, do it again. You do spend a lot of time cooking. Who was the one to say I love you first and where was it? Oh, uh, he knew the answer. Yeah. Yeah. He said I love you I first. I said, I said I love you first. Which is like, if you know me, it's so not my personality. I mean, not that anyone ever came before you. But there might have been a couple of mistakes on my path to meeting you. And, uh, <laughs> and thank you. And, and uh, <laughs> not, yeah, thank you. I mean, valuable, you know, lessons learned. Um, but on those, I gotta say, I never said I love you. With you, it was after 48 hours here together in London and a couple of lychee martinis. Um, and I just thought, I just, it was just true. So you just, I just said it. But I'm not one to say it. I'm not, I don't get easily to I love you. That's true. I don't. That's true. But he did. And it here did. we are. Well. Wow. When you know, you know. When you know, you know. That's true. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little husband tag. It, I, I know we've been meaning. You. Oh. I love you too. It was right. actually the first time he ever said it. Oh, that shush. was it. After six years, I finally shush. got it. I finally got it. Shush. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. This made me so romantic. Stop. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed that husband tag. Oh, yeah. Make sure you leave a comment mm. and give a thumbs up. We should do this more then, often. And make sure you subscribe, okay? Mm. I will mm. see you next time. Mm. Merry Christmas as well. Mm.